Welcome back to another video. We are in the Open Great League, and today we're going to be featuring a team revolved around the Shadow Steelix with Medicham and Superior here. So here we have to stay in because this is our best matchup against this Clagger. This Clagger is pretty good against our Superior and Medicham. So here we do decide to sh to uh, let this go. So that was a huge call. Now we are probably going to let this go here because we do survive it and we are wanting our opponent to uh, think that uh, we needed to, to uh, get it out of here. So here we're going to go for the Breaking Swipe debuff, then we're going to switch into our Medicham. They decided to stay in and throw a Psychic, which is also going to debuff us, so that was very unfortunate. So here we're going to go for this Psychic here. This Psychic will uh, get a shield, which is pretty good. And now we have to decide, is this going to be a Psychic or is it going to be a bait? It ends up being the Psychic again. So that allows us to uh, go for this Ice Punch here. This Ice Punch will be able to take out that Medicham. And now we have to face, what is that, a Galvantula? Yep. We are able to get one Ice Punch off. And oh, huge second Ice Punch. This second ice punch does get the last shield, and then we immediately go in with our Steelix to go to our break and swipe. It gets the debuff, and it does some pretty decent damage. So because it's debuff, we don't have to worry about um, two two lunges taking out the superior, and plus they only threw the discharge. So juju to our opponent right there. On to the next one. This this team here, um, obviously, we're trying to avoid some water types in the front, and potentially some um, fighters. So because of that, we switch out and we are met with the Wigglytuff. So this Wigglytuff here um, it has a great matchup against us, but we do get a huge Psychic off and we are able to simultaneously KO. So that is a huge win for us. Switching into Medicham, getting switched into a Charmer, and we are able to um, tie. So we'll take that all day. So now we are... Um, faced with the Medicham here. This Medicham is locked in. We don't kill the first one. And it looks like we're going to be facing the Vigoroth in the back. This Vigoroth only built up to a Body Slam here, I believe. So we're not going to shield this first one. Now we're going to pressure our Breaking Swipe. We do get the shield, so that is huge. Um, because it's debuffed once, um, we think that we can get to multiple break, breaking swipes here. So we shield, throw the first breaking swipe. Takes out the Vigoroth and... Oh, not quite. We are not able to uh, get to another breaking swipe with that Steelix. We know that this Medicham has power-up punch. So we know not to shield the first one. We shield the second one because we're trying to build up to two aerial aces. So we are currently at two aerial aces right now. We throw the first one. Gets the shield and we go back to back. So that is GG's to our opponent right there. Well played by us. And um, honestly, we did get a little bit lucky that this mini champ was um, throwing mainly power up punch. They're probably running power up punch and psychic. And um, we were able to call that first power up punch early on. So next game here, we are met with the Gligar again. Same situation. This Gligar is going to force us to stay in. Uh, we're going to purposely over farm here. And then we're going to decide whether to shield. We do shield the dig, which is fantastic. And now we should be able to get to two breaking swipes. So there's the one. We get the first shield. And then we're able to get to this one right here. Perfect. Uh, I don't believe this is going to KO, but it would um, damage it pretty low. Then they s decide to switch out into their uh, defense deoxys. That's going to that's gonna make us go to our superior here. And we don't have to worry about any single move. No single move here is going to KO. We, they go for the Psycho Boost, which is fine. This next one here is debuff, so we're definitely not going to shield this one. And then we're going to build up to um, right before they get to their move and throw this Frenzy Plant for the KO. And then here we're going to try to get to our arrow ace. Not enough. Not enough. So that is actually terrible for us because now we allow this Shadow Flagger to gain a bunch of energy. And um, right there we were trying to call a bait. But they actually go for the dig, so now we're in huge trouble. They get to that arrow ace, and it looks like they try to catch a move, but we were aware of it. We're going to go for the psychic here. We need the debuff. 
no debuff. And we know we can tank one Zap Cannon, so now we have to avoid their debuff. But we don't avoid it. That is huge because now it's going to force us to throw a Psychic right here. That's a lot of energy. And now it's a race to the Ice Punch and then we CMP tie. So close game right there. GG's to our opponent. I mean, not, not bad considering the lead wasn't that great. Uh, but honestly, it was pretty good considering we CMP tied at the end for the loss. So pretty good. Next game, we are met with the Tropius. This Tropius is running Air Slash. So this is way better for our Steelix here. That means that we can just stay in. We'll tank the first one. Because maybe they're going to switch out. They don't switch out, so we're going to throw this Breaking Swipe. This Breaking Swipe will be able to debuff um, their next leap play. So, okay, we're going to double debuff them. They're going to allow us to get to two Breaking Swipes. So we're definitely not going to show the next one if they throw a move. They decide to throw this leap blade. Only does about, I don't know, 10%. And then at this point, we were watching how much health we got taken out. This should not KO. Yep, and we should be able to farm down if they allow us, so that is fantastic. We immediately switch out because we have two counters to this Steelix. And now we have the uh, Shadow Steelix on our own with some energy and a potential sack swap later. So, Superior comes in, we get debug, we get the first shield, which is great. We're gonna have to take, an, uh, we're gonna have to take another Breaking Swipe to debuff us again, um, but luckily we are able to survive it and we're gonna be able to get to another Frenzy Plant. This does chip damage and now we can come in with our medicham this medicham is going to tank um a breaking swipe here so looks like our opponent switches into the pelipper we're going to catch a move actually we're going to shield because we actually want this debuff so we get this breaking swipe off we get the debuff we get a good amount of damage but we are able to get to another breaking swipe so that is Double debuff, and we did about 70% damage. So now we're hoping we can get this Ice Punch off. Looks like we take out this Pelipper. And now we know that we have Energy Advantage Plus. We had a Shield, so that's GG's to that Shadow Steelix right there. We pretty much only had to probably um, just farm down at that point. So that's why they probably left. So here we are met with the Lickitung. This Lickitung uh, is interesting. The lead, we know that we can get to this first breaking swipe first. So this is going to debuff their potential power whip. So we're going to let it go. Ends up being the power whip. As you can see, it probably does like 15%, something like that. So this next breaking swipe does take this Lickitung decently low. We know that... It only does 15%, so we're going to let this go. They actually go for the Body Slam, which is um, does less damage, and we were able to farm down because they decided to go for that um, Body Slam. So we're going to stay in because we are going to be able to debuff this Medicham. We're going to come in with our own Medicham. So we have the Health Advantage. We're going to let this go because if they bait, that would be terrible, but they actually go for the Psychic, but they get the debuff, so that is huge. Because they got the debuff, we're going to shield here. Ends up being the Ice Punch, which is fine. Uh, because we were going to shield anyways once. And it looks like we are going to get a Ice Punch off and basically farm down. We know this is Ice Punch, so we're not shielding it. And then now we are met with the Pelipper. This Pelipper is going to have to decide if they want to shield this. Unfortunately, they do um, sneak in a fast and take out our mini gem. So in hindsight, we should have gone for the Psychic. For a chance for the debuff too so uh no worries though it, they actually revealed that they only went for the weather ball so we didn't show the first one they go for another weather ball this weather ball uh is shielded because basically we are forcing them to get to a hurricane but they don't have enough time before we could get to two frenzy plants and this frenzy plant does ko the pelipper so juju's to our opponent right there well played by us check out this team if you haven't already and let us know if you enjoy the video